Hello guys, welcome to the advanced Photoshop tutorial series of blockphotoshop.com. In this website you can find the basic and the advanced tutorials of Photoshop and free photos, Photoshop brushes, patterns and textures and etc. This site is a must for people interested in Photoshop to learn the usage of professional techniques which is used by the industry. So go to and visit blockphotoshop.com. Anyway, let's turn back to my tutorial. Here in this tutorial, I will show you the advanced touch-up techniques to create professional look for advanced photography. First of all, go to blockphotoshop.com to download the files needed for this tutorial. Okay, let's open BP Tutorials Touch-up Replace Color.jpg. As you see, we have this beautiful woman with a blue background. First of all, I would like to change the background color to gray but I do not want to work on my original image layer. I will duplicate the layer and name it uh, gray BG, like gray background. There we go. Now I will go to the image adjustments and replace color. There we go. As you see replace color parameters window is opened. By default, under selection, the first selection icon is selected. Now with the selection tool, I will select the blue background and higher the fusiness value to 200, uh, like this. Now I will be able to change the color of the reflections of the blue background of our model. Now go to replacement and lower the saturation value to minus uh, 100, uh, something like this and click OK. Now we have a gray background. The second part is to change the hair color to a reddish color. To do that I will duplicate the layer and name it hair. And again I will go to image adjustments and replace color to choose the hair color with our selection tool. There we go. Now change the hue to reddish color and uh, saturate it by using this to exaggerate the color and there we go. Click OK. Erase the body with our erase tool by clicking E. Now it's much better. Let's make some advanced touch up. Select all the layers, duplicate it, and right click and merge layers and name it ADG, which means adjustment. Now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and move the radius parameter somewhere here and click OK. And under layers, choose darken and lower the opacity a little bit. Now, again, select all layers, duplicate, right click, merge, and name it sharp. Sharp. There we go. Go to filter, sharpen, and sharpen more. As you see, now we can see the details much better. Now go to sharp layer and lower a little bit the opacity. And that's all. Thank you for watching this blog Photoshop tutorial. Have a good day. Bye.